I dealt with Dr. Brooks for about five years. He was one of my best customers. And is he still one of your best customers, Mr. Matsui? Oh, no. Things started to go badly about two years ago when he applied for an unsecured line of credit in the amount of $200,000. We don't normally advance that much money without taking security, but... But what? You like this smile? I mean, it really is a terrific smile, huh? You enjoying yourself over there, Dr. Brooks? So far, yes. Thank you very much for asking. Mm, yeah, he's a real charmer. I'd give him 200 grand, no problem. Well, I knew about his house on Warren Road, uh, his farm in Caledon. His real estate assets alone were worth $2 million. And what happened with the line of credit? At first, he just missed a few payments. I'd remind him, and he'd remit right away. Then he asked that the line be increased by $120,000 because his wife was buying a car. A car? Not a Winnebago. Excuse me? Well, I mean, if you're paying over $100,000 for something, I think you ought to be able to live in it, right? Anyway, he asked security on the car. Um, I asked him for security on the car, and he said he'd send the registration, but uh, it never came. What kind of car? I think he said it was a Mercedes convertible. Yeah, well, now I get it. I mean, life's not worth living in this city if you don't have one of those, huh? Uh, what are you waiting for, Miss Rogan? So, did you extend his credit? Yes, and shortly after that, he defaulted completely. I learned that he'd taken a new mortgage on the house with another bank, uh, sold the farm, and liquidated almost all of his savings. And I don't think there ever was a car. No Mercedes, no farm, no savings. But look, he's still smiling. Did you ever ask Dr. Brooks whether he had taken a second mortgage out on his house or sold his farm? No, but he knew that I was relying on him not to hide anything. Do you normally advance a car loan before receiving the registration papers? I trusted him. You don't work for the bank anymore, do you, sir? Objection. Mr. Matsui was fired because of his poor due diligence on these loans. If he had done his job properly, Dr. Brooks would not be in this mess. You mean if he'd caught Dr. Brooks in his lies? They weren't lies. They were omissions. Oh, come on. Yeah, banks are pretty good at omitting things themselves. My bank omitted to inform me that they were about to stick me with a $35 a month service charge on me. I hate it when they do things like that. It's how the banks make money. Yeah, well, I think it's extortion. Well, maybe I ought to be prosecuted then. You up for that, Miss Rogan? Up for what, Your Honor? Miss Rogan, when we journey down a tangential lane, do we bore you? Is that the royal we you are referring to, Your Honor? The judicial we. Are you uh, familiar with that? We weren't. But now that we are, we were wondering when Mr. Ryder would be allowed to make his point. Oh, if in fact you have one. We do. Mr. Matsui, since you failed to properly investigate the state of Dr. Brooks' assets, can't these transactions be more accurately characterized as bad loans as opposed to fraud? No. He knew what he was doing. He took advantage of me. I trusted him and he made me look like a fool. I'll probably never get another job in a bank. You still look pretty happy there, Dr. Brooks. No remorse at all over the fact that this man lost his job because of you? I had every intention of paying him back, Your Honor. I just need a little run of good luck. That's all I uh, really... Your Honor, if you don't mind, could you stop addressing my client directly? It probably makes him nervous and prone Really? To... I thought he was enjoying the repartee. Is that smile just a manifestation of nerves, Dr. Brooks? Oh, probably, Your Honor. But I could try and get rid of it if it bothers you. Just... Yeah, do that. Okay. Oh. <laughs>